Today we're going to upgrade the silent PC we've been working on the past few weeks and install a Thunderbolt 3 card inside of it. If your motherboard already supports Thunderbolt, that's fantastic. I'll see you in our next video. So there aren't very many steps to this installation process. Take the card out of the box. It's already connected the header wire to the card. And it's just a matter of opening up your computer, sticking it in a uh, PCIe Express card slot, I think of a slot for four, and uh, pushed it down, screwed it back in, uh, took the wire, it took me a little while to find where on the motherboard to stick it down, but in very, very tiny print, it'll say TB or something like that. Look, look that up in your motherboard uh, user manual. Pushing it down on that wire. And that's about it as far as hardware is concerned. Then it's a matter of getting on to the manufacturer's website to download the very latest driver. Install that onto your operating system. And we're pretty much ready to go. Uh, so one thing with these cards is that they don't come with a Thunderbolt cable. So this is kind of similar to peripherals for HDMI. They never come with a cable. When you're buying a cable, be careful because they look very similar to USB-C cables. If you look at the end of it, it will have a Thunderbolt followed by the number three. Okay, I'm going to just plug this into the card and plug the other end to the back of our audio interface where we see a Thunderbolt. All right, I'll put some power on this and then we'll do a little test. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. So that seems to be sounding pretty good to me. I wanted to let you know that our motherboard that we're using is an Asus board. And so our thought was, why not use an Asus Thunderbolt card as well? Just to get rid of any questions about compatibility. Our next stop on our journey is going to be looking at adding a whole bunch of fans into the case of the silent PC. Look forward to seeing you again. Bye for now. Oh.